righty then. Here we go, Aztecs v Aztecs here. The map is not Arabia. The map is garbled nonsense. No, it's Mediterranean. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see Bact has a whole lot more land. The orange player here has a lot of map to work with. Uh, his opponent, Miguel, is really kind of crammed up in the corner. For better or worse, I mean, his gold is safe. He'll have a safe wood line, but he is really, really, really close to the water. Any, any economy he builds here is going to be kind of annoyed. Uh, so maybe a nice map generation here for Bact, but we'll work our way through it. Aztecs v. Aztecs on Mediterranean. So Mediterranean is one of those maps where you can like wall up the sides really easy if you want to, right? They're not long stretches of land here. There is extra food on the map, so keep that in mind. Uh, and it's easy to block in. Winning the water is incredibly important because all of the damn fish jumping out here in the middle. Obviously, you want to get that resource. Uh, you can invest in a, maybe 10 fishing ships, and if you keep them alive, you can fish this entire pond out. You can get, I don't know, what do you think? 10,000 food in this water? Uh, for the price of maybe a thousand wood no not even 500 wood anyway at the moment we'll watch these players build up and we will do it at an elevated pace good to see everybody out there and having fun hopefully you're enjoying the channel uh, what else is there to say uh, we're doing a stream randomly here today on a Friday I think I will stream tomorrow as well because um Sunday 15 GMT was our go-to time but unfortunately there's going to be a well, not unfortunately, but there's going to be a great event tomorrow. Uh, the Escape Gaming event will be um, 15 GMT, or that's on Sunday, rather. Anyway, enough about that. Watching this game go through, watching players build up, taking a little extra wood here early so that they can get out and get docks. Miguel grabbing his boar a little earlier. Bact has pushed in a deer as we speak. Eagle Warrior working his way around the map. Pretty good scouting so far from Bact. He's a, just a little bit away from all these sheep on the top. Green player could find them. Uh, but Miguel right now is hugging the shores. Ah, look at this. Right as I say that, we will see his eagle turn around and we'll see him win a couple of sheep. It's not nothing, man. 300 free food. Free food, baby. Can't complain about that at all. Anyway, yeah, backside of the map here, if he does wall it up at some point and protect it, has so much resource and so much space. It's absolutely, uh, I would say, an unfair map generation. Uh, but Miguel, he's got some resources as well. He just doesn't have the uh, amount of space Really, I don't think Miguel, you can really never afford to lose water on this map, but Miguel especially would be so, so bad off if he loses water. He would just be so harassed. His shoreline is so damn close to his economy. Uh, if there were galleys from back here, it would be no bueno. Anyway, for the moment, fishing ships getting out. One fishing ship out for back just a wee bit earlier. Luring in boars, getting economies going, and it's all good in the hood. Killer B coming at you live on a random, random Friday. Feeling good, man. Drinking my soup broth here. Still on my soup broth diet. Probably the worst diet you could ever be on uh, unless your goal is to gain weight. Anyway, back for the moment, slowly working his way around the map, getting a good idea of what his opponent's up to. I think both players have a similar strategy. Uh, they're really blanketing their opponent's side of the map early. Which, um, you know, that's not that surprising, but sometimes we do see players kind of um, pushing in some deer, just trying to be stingy with their, um, with their food economy. You don't want to have to build any farms because that's just going to slow you down. At the moment, fishing ships are 3-3. Three to three. Back will click up to feudal age, but Miguel will be right there behind him five seconds later. Look at the villagers on the puny trees at the moment. Miguel just trying to grab as much wood as he can. Needs to get out and get onto gold. Sending five villagers over. At the moment, it is a one-dock build for Miguel, but not for long. I think as soon as he can afford... Oh, those vills are going to a wood line. I was going to say, sweet Jesus, he's going with five vills over to gold? This makes a little bit more sense as a build. Watching Miguel send over three villagers to gold. There we go. I think that <laughs> I was, a... I was very confused. It's like, man, that's a lot of vills going to gold. How many docks is he going to have? Looks like a two-dock build for the green player. Double docks in for Bact. 21 vills apiece. Bact with just about five seconds of an advantage. Grabbing gold with three villagers as well. And we're going to see some galleys go to war, baby. Liverpool. Liverpool FC Gamer. Uh, it is exclamation point points. That will tell you how many coins you have. I know that makes no sense, but uh, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, we have Feudal Age in for both players. Aztecs fellas are going to start pumping out galleys. Double 
uh, double dock galleys at the moment. Back to adding in a third dock as we speak, so is Miguel. Seems like there is some sort of unknown meta here. Look at the freaking sheep at the moment from Miguel. Miguel is hoarding these extra sheep, man. I like it. He's got to be focused on gold. He's got to be focused on wood. Uh, so just let the sheep kind of chill. Anyway, for the moment, galleys coming across the map. Excuse me, no upgrades on those. Wow, how about that? Killer B just burping into the microphone. Just a little bit of picking and poking right now. Players seeing if they can get a slight advantage. Reinforcement time, of course, will be closer for Miguel and faster. Uh, but Bact is out early, and maybe he would like to get in there and maybe snipe some fishing ships. Right now, Bact is microing, but he is four ships versus five. He's going to lose one early. Miguel may even get another here. Looks like he should get a second ship. Two ships for the price of none so far. Miguel's ships are starting to get low, but Bact not able to capitalize yet. Bact will sail back across his pond and turn around and fight. It is still 5v4, isn't it? But uh, soon Miguel's going to start losing ships. It's inevitable. The galley fight has begun. Early advantage to Miguel. Getting a couple of nice little kills with good micro there early. Seems to be in a good spot in the meantime. We can slow this down a bit. We will see that uh, Bact is one villager ahead of his opponent, which is interesting. Uh, backed for now is eh, floating a little wood and gold, still pumping it all into his eco. Miguel taking those sheep, not really able to uh, micro that and the water at the same time. Can't blame him. I couldn't do it either. Uh, four ships now from Backed. Oh no, they almost sailed all the way to Xanadu here to take down a couple of these fishing ships. That can be a really nice advantage, sacrificing a few galleys for fishing. Uh, but for the moment, Bact is thwarted once again. And man, you got to think Miguel's in a good spot. Miguel out a little bit faster than Bact here early on in this game. Bact is going to send four galleys to the corner, but this map does not have an escape route for him. And Miguel's going to probably get all four of these ships for really cheap. Really difficult map to win on if you don't control the water. Uh, just four fishing ships for each guy right now. Uh, but soon, we will probably see Bax Eco get knocked down to zero. Uh, and we might see Miguel be able to add in more fishing later on. For now, we're just seeing players focusing on military. Miguel carving off most of his navy. Just going to leave enough ships to kill his opponent. This is a really smart move. This will win or lose you games sometimes. You know, if you chase somebody's uh, army around the map... Oh, no. Okay, Miguel continuing to chase... You chase an army around the map with a huge army of your own. You do sometimes get punished for that. Both guys trying to snipe some fishing. Miguel can at least punish Bact right now. Bact for the most part with just a single ship back at home to try to protect his fishing eco. These three ships are going to go down. We are going to see Bact on one fishing economy? Two fishing economy. Yeah, one, one fishing ship at the moment for Bact. Tough early start, start for Bact, uh, plus one damage in for both players. Wheelbarrow coming for Miguel. Bact here is control. I'm sorry, Miguel here is controlling the waters. He's only four galleys ahead. It's not an impossibly difficult uh, proposition to come back from. But if he keeps those ships massed up in AOC, there isn't a whole lot you can do uh, until you get up to the next age, and then you can build some fire ships or something of this nature, uh, depending on what sieve you are. Right now, this is just a tricky, tricky situation. Bact is not going to be able to get back in this. But, that being said, he's only two military behind. Miguel making some interesting decisions. He will chase this entire navy to the corner once again. Bact will get a couple of ships, but uh, it's not going to last for long. Miguel, again, chasing those ships to the corner. Bact will come in from behind and try to pincer, but Miguel's got more ships back there as well. So, so far, so good for the green player. Ep uh, episode 1 of this series has to be winning the water. Episode 2, though, uh, building up a nice eco is actually a pretty major advantage for Bact. Bact is four villagers ahead, which is kind of surprising. It's not as though either player has an extra TC. We're in the feudal age. And it's not as though uh, either player has done any raiding. It's just pure efficiency on Bact's part, maybe focusing his economy a little bit more on getting uh, villager production going. Yo, Kig, what up, what up, welcome. So Miguel winning the water, back with a bigger uh, a bigger eco, but man, I don't think it really matters. Once you win the water on this map, you can really do a lot of nice things. Smooth sailing. 
Uh, Bact has to be thinking about trying to win this in the next age at the moment, saving up quite a lot. Uh, it looks like he just bought a little food. He just spent some gold to buy up some food, and Bact will click up early. You have to think about, if your opponent's beating you at the current game you're playing, which is a feudal galley war, you got to think about another strategy, and Bact's strategy here is going to be to click up to the castle age. What he does next is going to be a question that I don't know the answer to. Uh, you can just start pumping out, uh, you can try to pump out higher technology, higher tech ships, or you can drop some TCs, or you can make a push on land. Uh, from the eco of Bact at the moment, it does not look like he's going to do anything too crazy on land. Could be wrong about that. Uh, but Castle Age coming in slowly, and we will find out pretty soon. Miguel is not going to be that far behind, so this is a tough position for Bact. Uh, Miguel will click up here in maybe about 20 seconds, 30 seconds, depending, I guess, on how fast his, you know, his food eco isn't that fast. So Miguel here is going to take a little longer. Actually, the green player building some, uh, some archers here. Very interesting. Going to invest a little resource in having a uh, terrestrial army in the early game here. Has the galleys, has the, uh, has the army on land, putting back in a tricky situation. He sold his stone so he won't add TCs. Ah, interesting. I didn't notice that. Yeah, back there did sell his stone. Wow, props to you, my friend. Early market, I think it's a it's a sort of, um, it's not a desperate move, but it's a necessary move, I think. If you lose the water, if you lose plan A, you got to go to plan B. Anyway, at the moment, plus one archers for both players. Miguel reacting pretty quickly to a couple of archers from Bact, and he's able to win even that fight on the land. Really tough situation for Bact. Bact hits the castle age. No, Miguel clicks up. Here we go. Bact hits the castle age, and all of these docks are, are idle. Just too difficult, I suppose, right now to get back on the horse. Sending villagers out across the map to go over to gold. Uh, at the moment, the orange player has one barracks that I can see here. Sorry, I'm casting one-handed. I know that's kind of a scrub move. Double ranges on the front. Ah, some snuck vills on the front that I didn't notice. Backed up to crossbowmen, trying to take over a little bit of land here. He's going to be able to uh, maybe pop out an early mangonel. He's seen his opponent go into archers, so maybe mangoes. But hey, you know, could be a ram as well. At the moment, though, Miguel is not just going to lay down and take this quietly. He's going to go in with four archers and start doing some raiding. Feudal archers take a long time to kill Vils. Hand-to-hand -hand combat here from the villagers is a smart move. Eagle warrior coming over uh, and back should be able to deal with this. But I think Miguel being a little aggressive is a nice move. We are going to see a ram right off the bat from the orange player. Uh, Miguel continuing to control the water. Uh, he's only added in four fishing ships, which is maybe... Uh, not as many as I would have expected. You can fish like a madman if you want to once you control the water. Uh, but for now, Miguel diverting resources over to his, um, basically his land defense. Miguel is, I would say, kind of taking the bait here. He's gone double towers, he's gone over to stone, he's adding in archers, and he's ready to, uh, fight Bax land army. You know, I think he's gonna win this fight based on his, um, based on his situation being better. Um, and yeah, there's nothing else to kill on the water, I guess, so you might as well get used to fighting on land. Miguel, for now, running out across the map, just trying to keep his archers alive, but those are dead meat. Bodkin Arrow and Crossbowman coming in, but only four units. Siege Workshop in defense for Miguel. Coming up as we speak. No real answer for this ram, unfortunately. You gotta rush it down with Vils, and to do so, you are maybe going to take some Crossbowman fire. It looks like Miguel will be able to rush this down. Back not within range with his uh, crossbows at the moment. Water is less important for back. His land is big enough. Yeah, back here has to go for the land push. It's all, it's all in now. A uh, couple fire ships though do pop out. Oh, I didn't expect that, and I, maybe neither did Miguel. Miguel did not tech into uh, higher. He didn't tech into war galley just yet. Uh, so he is going to have to micro around some fire ships. Those ships are going to get a lot of kills, a lot of kills. But uh, in the end, Miguel still controlling water. Uh, still just four fishing ships for the moment. Miguel rushed down the ram. Bact has added in a mangonel. So for now, uh, we will wait and see if Bact can get in. Defenses should be pretty tight here for Miguel with double towers and a mango just waiting there. Um, these buildings will take a while to get through. Bact now just with a couple of archers for the moment. Sending more and more units out. It looks like Bact is making eagles. Eagles in the castle age. Well, you know, eagles in the castle age. 
They are not the greatest, but um, they're pro they're possibly going to help back to turn this one. Uh, you know, sniping your opponent's mangonels and things like this uh, are really a good job for eagles. At the moment, fishing ships continuing. No, fishing ships not continuing to come out. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so focused on fishing ships. War galleys from Miguel completely taking over the water. He needs to take more advantage of this, at least in my opinion. But to be honest. Uh, he's doing a great job at spending all of his resources to defend himself, to build up his eco. At the moment, uh, 48 villagers for back, 46 for Miguel. Pretty nice game as far as villagers go. A little bit of nice micro here on the land. Back will lose a mangonel, one for one trade. Uh, and we'll see Miguel push out. I like that he's not being passive here. He's Miguel is winning this game hands down. Uh, and sometimes you have a tendency to like, oh, my opponent's pushing me on land. I've I got to really defend myself. Uh, Miguel much smarter than that. He's going to start pushing out. Uh, going to start taking some free houses on the side. Uh, ooh, this TC is... Ooh. Uh, okay. Uh, this is a TC that maybe um, Nomana would like, but uh, I'm not a fan. It does block this corridor, I guess, but... Ooh. Anyway, uh, TC out on the side. We've got a 3 TC build, I do believe, for Miguel, who is still harassing from water on the land. A couple of archers still roaming around. Crossbowmen... Hanging out in the middle, waiting. Does it look like Miguel knows about this TC, or does he? I think he should see this chopped tree, so he may figure this out and um, walk around. But for now, we are just waiting to see what Bact can do. Bact at the moment, uh, it's starting to get quite a bit of gold in his uh, coffers, if you will. A little bit of gold, a little bit of wood. Not sure if I know the way out for Bact right now, but... He's got to try something. A couple crossbowmen actually headed the other way around the map. Seems like a worthwhile cause. It's a very, very slow march for these guys to get around. Uh, but they may head toward this side of Miguel's eco and maybe distract him enough. I don't know. It's, it's hard to envision right now uh, the uh, orange player getting back into this. Plus two, plus one on the crossbows from Miguel coming forward. He's going to take this wood line uh, and make it completely idle. Bact was trying to go forward, but he's going to be the one who has to turn around. Still just plus one damage on the crossbowmen from Bact. Bact here has been beat in the feudal age. He's been beat in the castle age, and he's about to be beat uh, altogether. This game is starting to uh, spiral out of control. Miguel has gone into 10 fish now, so that's really cool to see. And he's just absolutely hogging all this free food. 10 fishing ships here, man. That is absolutely a massive advantage. So much resource saved. Back to having to farm really extensively. If we look on Miguel's side, he is farming, but not nearly as many farms as his opponent. Yeah, could be wrong. Could be wrong. There's quite a few farms in there from Miguel as well. Anyway, for now, it's looking really, really bad. Miguel's going to keep his crossbowmen within range of his war galleys and kind of chill out. Back will grab a relic. And we'll have to see, man. We'll have to see if there's a way to hold on. In theory, if Bact could go Imp sometime soon and start going into Eagles, yeah, maybe he could maybe he could come back in this one. Hard to say. Villagers going down left and right. Uh, Bact still not able to fight toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Plus one damage versus plus two, plus one for his opponent. Just too, too much to deal with. Too much to deal with at this point. Miguel's not adding mass fish. Was fine as long as he didn't know for sure he would still have the water. Uh, water's less important for Bact. Yeah, Miguel uh, waiting just a bit. I think it was really smart. I'm out a little bit ahead of myself here. A little too caffeinated. I really wanted to see him go hardcore onto, onto fish. But like you said, if he's winning the game, he's got time. There's no huge rush to get into your fish boom. At the moment, Miguel is clicking up to Imperial Age. Just another terrible sign for Bact. Uh, Bact is not going to be the first player up. He's not going to have a whole lot of options here to try to win this game. Miguel, as he goes up, is going to start adding in barracks. Three barracks on the front. Uh, presumably, we will see the green player continue to add in barracks as we go. Just 105 total pop right now. Uh, 70 total vills. But remember, 10 fishing ships, man. That is a huge boost to the food economy of Miguel. So, I think that's going to give him yeah, basically the equivalent of 80 villagers, uh, which is kind of enough to get your eagle production going. 
Backed able to grab a mango there on the front. Backed grabbing a couple of relics. Got to give him some credit here for giving this one the old college try. Uh, but still hemorrhaging houses on the front. Still having his uh, attack bell rung uh, basically every couple of seconds. Back to trying to sneak a few vills here. Maybe just trying to avoid dying. Uh, but those vills are going to die. And Miguel's even... This is a coy move I'm seeing pro players do more. They see a wolf chasing a low HP vill and they just kind of let him go off to his death, man. That poor, poor villager. He just wanted to go into the sweat lodge and see beautiful, beautiful images. But now he is dead to a wolf. He's food. Anyway, doesn't matter. The carbon will get recycled. Wolves around the map really active at the moment. Back trying to send villagers out. Miguel has enough for a castle. Maybe Back is dropping one? I don't know what he's up to. Uh, Back trying to drop another TC here on the side. Orange player's got a couple mangoes out. He's thinking about defending himself and trying to keep this one going. Uh, the Imperial uh, time of Miguel is really going to be um, damaging to his psyche. Uh, Miguel at the moment is floating a good amount of food and a good amount of gold. We'll be able to drop a castle and we'll be able to pump out a lot of eagles. One has to wonder if um, if Miguel will, will come over to this side and drop a castle somewhere. I'm sure he would love to have this gold pile. It is his after all. Looks like he's sending a couple of eagles that way as we speak. Has uh, some of the upgrades, but it's not going to matter here. Back will give the GG. Miguel will give the GG. Uh, Miggy boy here, win in the water. Able to basically get out early and win. Uh, took advantage of that with a huge fish boom eventually. Also, when back pushed on land, Miguel was totally ready. Just a beautiful rail-to-rail -rail win by the green player, Miguel.